Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Literature with Purva. In today's video, we are going to look at an important play by William Shakespeare, Twelfth Night. It is a romantic comedy written by William Shakespeare and we are going to look at the important characters of the play, the act by act summary of the play and we are also going to look at some important themes of the play. So if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. Now the subtitle of Twelfth Night is What You Will. Twelfth Night was written around 1601 to 1602 as a part of Twelfth Night's Entertainment. The Twelfth Night after Christmas, there is a feast and that is called Twelfth Night's Entertainment. And Shakespeare wrote the play for that particular day. Therefore, it is called Twelfth Night. Illyria is the exotic setting of the play. The play centers around the identical twins, Viola and Sebastian, who are separated due to a shipwreck. And both mistaken identity and cross-dressing occur in the play. So at first, we are going to take a look at the important characters of the play Twelfth Night. So at first we have Viola, a young woman. She later disguises herself as a male attendant called Cesario. Next we have Sebastian, Viola's identical twin brother. Next we have Orsino, Duke Orsino who is the Duke of Illyria. Next we have Olivia, a wealthy countess and Duke Orsino's love interest. Then we have Malvolio, a servant in Olivia's household. Then we have Maria, a maid in Olivia's household. Then we have Sir Toby Belch, Olivia's uncle. Then we have Sir Andrew Akwichik, who is the best friend of Sir Toby and he wants to marry Olivia someday. Then we have Antonio, Sebastian's best friend and a sea captain. And lastly, we have Fester, a fool or clown in Olivia's household. So these are the important characters of the play Twelfth Night. And now we are going to look at the act by act summary of the play. Act 1. Orsino, the Duke of Illyria, is upset because he has been rejected by Countess Olivia, the woman that he loves. Olivia has decided to stay away from men's company because she is mourning for the loss for the death of her brother. That is why Olivia decided to stay away from men's company for seven years. On the other hand, we see that a group of sailors rescue a young woman called Viola from a storm at sea. Viola is devastated to learn that she has survived but there are no signs of her identical twin brother Sebastian. Therefore, Viola thinks that Sebastian is dead and she is devastated. However, she decides to find a job. Therefore, she dresses up as a boy so that she can get a job. Now, when she dresses up as a boy, she looks exactly like her brother, Sebastian. Viola takes the name of Cesario and decides to be an attendant to Duke Orsino. Now, when Viola meets Duke Orsino, her master, for the first time as Cesario, she falls in love with now, Duke Orsino is very happy with his new attendant, Cesario, which is Viola in disguise. So, Duke Orsino now sends Cesario to court Olivia for him. Now, when Cesario goes to meet Olivia on behalf of Duke Orsino, Olivia gets attracted to Cesario, who is actually Viola in disguise. Olivia sends her servant Malvolio after Cesario with a ring. So we can see that a love triangle has been formed between Duke Orsino, Countess Olivia and Cesario who is actually Viola in disguise. Act 2. The members of Olivia's household plot to expose the aspirations of the steward Malvolio who has feelings for Olivia. 
So the members include Maria, the maid of Olivia, Olivia's uncle, Sir Toby Belch, and Sir Toby Belch's friend, Sir Andrew Agwijik, who is also in love with Olivia. Together, they write a letter and through that letter, they make Malvolio believe that Olivia is also in love with him. The letter says, that Malvolio must wear yellow stockings, cross gartered, and he must smile to show his love for Olivia. When Malvolio does so, Olivia is horrified and he shuts Malvolio in the dark as a madman. On the other hand, Viola's twin brother, Sebastian, has also survived the shipwreck. He also comes to Illyria with his best friend, Antonio, who is a sea captain, but Antonio is a wanted man in Illyria for a former piracy against Duke Orsino. Act 3. Sir Andrew Anquichek is jealous of Cesario because Olivia likes Cesario. So one day, Sir Andrew Anquichek tells Cesario, who is Viola in disguise, that he and Cesario are going to fight. Now, Viola does not know how to fight, therefore, she is in a very difficult position. Right during that time, Antonio passes by and mistakes Cesario to be his friend Sebastian. Therefore, he comes to his friend's defense. But Orsino's men immediately identify Antonio and Antonio is arrested. Later, Sebastian comes along and Sir Andrew Agwicic thinks that Sebastian is actually Cesario. So Sir Andrew tells Sebastian to fight with him. And Sebastian, being an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, easily defeats Sir Andrew Agwicic. Olivia tells Sebastian to enter the house and Olivia is very impressed. But Olivia thinks that Sebastian is actually Cesario, Viola in disguise. That night, Sebastian and Countess Olivia get married. Act 4. Malvolio is psychologically tortured by Maria, Sir Toby Belch and Fester. Fester, in fact, dresses up as a priest to convince Malvolio that he is, in fact, mad. But soon they realize that they might get into trouble for treating Malvolio this way when he is inside the cave. Therefore, they give Malvolio a pen and paper to be able to write a letter to Olivia. Act 5. Antonio, who was arrested by Orsino's men, is brought in front of Duke Orsino. There he sees Cesario beside Duke Orsino. And he thinks Cesario is his best friend, Sebastian, and therefore Antonio accuses Cesario of betrayal. Cesario has no clue of what he is talking about. Right then, the real Sebastian enters the scene. Viola and Sebastian see each other and realize that they are both alive. The brother and sister are so happy and euphoric that both of them have survived the shipwreck. On the other hand, the fool, Fester, brings a letter from Malvolio who has departed promising revenge. On the other hand, Sir Toby and Maria, they have got married as they wanted to celebrate their plot against Malvolio. Duke Orsino is happy that Sebastian and Olivia have married each other because Duke Orsino have realized his own feelings towards Cesario who is Viola in disguise. Duke Orsino says, that once Viola dresses up as a woman, Duke Orsino and Viola will also get married. And that is how the play Twelfth Night ends. Now let's take a look at the themes of the play. The first theme is love as the reason of suffering. The play Twelfth Night is a romantic comedy and romantic love is the focus of the play. Although the play has a very happy ending, we see that the characters suffer a lot from love, especially the pants of unrequited love throughout the play. In the beginning of the play, we see 
that Duke Orsino is pining for Countess Olivia who rejects him. Then we see Cesario, Viola in disguise, pining for the love of her master, Duke Orsino. We also see Olivia pining for the love of Cesario. Also, in this play, love is exclusionary. Some characters find love, whereas other characters do not find love at the end of the play. They do not get romantic happiness. Two such characters are Melvolio and Antonio. Melvolio, who clearly has feelings for Olivia, realizes at the end of the play that he is socially unworthy to get the love of his noble mistress, Olivia. Antonio is in a more difficult situation because he has feelings for his best friend, Sebastian, which is against the societal norms during that time. Therefore, both Malvolio and Antonio do not get romantic happiness at the end of the play, whereas Viola, Sebastian, Duke Orsino and Olivia, they get romantic happiness at the end of the play. The second theme is gender. In the play Twelfth Night, we see that gender and sexuality are ambiguous, unclear, unstable and also fluid. When Viola disguises as Cesario, a man, it results in a lot of mess. Because Viola, in the disguise of Cesario, falls in love with Duke Orsino, but she cannot confess her feelings to Duke Orsino because Orsino thinks that she is a man. On the other hand, Olivia falls in love with Cesario, thinking that he is a man, but actually Olivia falls in love with a woman. And therefore, Cesario, who is Viola in disguise, can do nothing about it. Therefore, we can see this situation results in a lot of complications, especially for Duke Orsino and for Olivia. Orsino and Olivia find heterosexual love only when the sexual ambiguities and deceptions are straightened out. The third theme is disguise and deception. When Viola finds herself stranded in the island of Illyria, she decides to conceal her gender for various reasons. First of all, she knows that if she takes up the disguise of a man, she will get any job easily because during that time, there were hardly any jobs for women. Moreover, Viola knew that a masculine disguise will protect her from attack, sexual assault, and she will be much more safer if people think that she is a man. Obviously, the disguise that Viola puts, that makes her life very, very complicated because she falls in love with Duke Orsino, but because of her masculine disguise, she cannot confess her feelings. On the other hand, a woman pines for her love. Despite the mess that her disguise creates, but Viola also finds a lot of freedom in that masculine disguise. She can express her opinions freely and can speak up her mind because people think that she is a man. During that time, women were allowed to maintain a silence and talk less and they were not allowed to speak their mind. Viola's masculine disguise gave her a lot of freedom and therefore the disguise it proved to be a boon for Viola in many cases, although it gave rise to many complications. So these were the important themes of Twelfth Night Play. Love is the reason of suffering, gender and sexuality, and disguise and deception. I hope you found the video useful. If you found the video useful, then do like it and share with your friends. I'll be back very soon with a new video on a literary work or a literary theory. Thank you so much for watching. Do visit our website www.learningliteraturewithpoorba.com to discover courses and classes on English literature and creative writing. Also stay connected on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much.